Congratulations, bucket getters. You went ahead and earned yourself another period of bonus time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Today, we're gonna go through some on the court action, egregious and fantastic. We're gonna go through a little bit of Hall of Fame induction action. Hey, we're gonna take a look at President Obama's all time starting five. I'm gonna see if it differs a bit from mine. I'm gonna show you my favorite buzzer beaters from last year. And then I'm gonna send you to the weekend with some scalding hot Mr. Pock takes. Bam! Ah, you love it. This time. Hey, oh! It's the court report, folks. We're gonna break down the hottest news from around the basketball world this week. And I'm gonna start off with something pretty bad because it's been on my mind. I mean, this is egregious. It's just terrible. I've been waiting all summer for hoops to come back in the NBA, and all I get is this Kyle Kuzma Ben Simmons disaster. Why is this on my timeline? At least in the WNBA finals, we've been getting some crisp ball. Hey, fellas, this is what a great shot-making ability and some good defense actually looks like. This is something worth watching. Hey, at least off the court, we had something exciting. Hall of Fame induction. We had Vince Carter and Chauncey Billups go in. But the star of the show is the logo. Jerry West, the legend. The very first three-time Basketball Hall of Famer. I don't know if there's anybody else who deserves it more than him. He's a true legend and RIP to one of the greatest guards of all time. Hey, oh, we miss you, Jer. Keeping it off the court action, former President Obama gave his all-time starting five this week. Let's take a look. I'm basketball fan Barack Obama. I'm going to talk about my favorite starting five. If I just put together a team where I would enjoy watching it and I think they'd beat anybody. I'm from Chicago. MJ, Michael Jordan at shooting guard. I'd put LeBron at point forward. A bunch of times he'd be bringing up the ball and he'd be distributing. He'd basically be doing some of the stuff that he did not recently in the Olympics and that is a pretty good approximation of what Magic Johnson could do. But I want a little shooting and a little flair. I'm going to put my friend Steph Curry into the mix because we're in the three-point era and he is the greatest shooter of all time, bar none. At center, I'm going to put Hakeem the Dream Elijah Wan, whose game I think translates to today's game. He was such an amazing athlete, an anchor on defense. He's going to give you everything you need uh, out of uh, the center position. This last spot is tough, but I think, especially given today's game, I've got to go with Kevin Durant, KD, who may be the most efficient, effective scorer in the history of basketball. I'm feeling pretty good about that five, beating just about anybody. <laughs> no. Dang it. I can't beat it. I can't make a better one. I can make some nitpicks, I can make some even swaps, but caps off to the prize. It's a dang good starting five. Upper shotters. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk a little of the basics with the ABCs of Papa Shot. <laughs> Thank you. Today we're gonna talk about the letter B for Buzzer Peter! Bang! Bang! Mm. Every Papa Shotter knows that the Buzzer Beater is a crucial part of the game. It's what gets you to that next bonus time period. It gets you to that elusive high score. And it's what puts your heated rival in the dirt where they belong with a loss. You know what it takes to get that shot off at the last second and get it through the rim for the important high scores. Hey, let's take a look at my favorite buzzer beaters from last season and see which one of them would look good on your papa shot at home. Five. Missed free throw. Four for the rebound. Here's Pritchard. He loves these. Puts it up half court of the buzzer. Bang! Richard at the buzzer with a three-pointer. Four. Jokic has it. Clock takes. Got to put one up. Jokic for the win. Oh, it's good. Jokic got it off in time. Three. Three. Two left. No timeouts left for the Bucks. Here comes Dane. Three seconds. Dane pulls for the win. Oh, Dane time. Two. Looking in for Irving. Irving for the win! Oh, oh my, my god! My. A southpaw finish from Kyrie Irving! What? They have to go 94 feet. Struth from midcourt. Oh! Do you believe this? Buzzer beater! <clears throat> Are we filming? Are we recording? That's red. Does that mean it's off? Not to be the nagging parent, but just a quick reminder, we're running out of time on the Dizzy Bad Challenge. 
give it 10 spins around the bat, and dive right into game mode one on your Papa Shot at home to qualify for a chance to win the Dizzy Pop exclusive sticker. It's a good one, I promise, it looks great. Now, finally, what you've all been waiting for, the hot take to send you into the weekend, angry, or oh, happy. Angry if you're a Knicks fan, spoiler alert, because I got my most overrated NBA team of the summer as the New York Knicks. I don't get it. Carl Anthony Towns, you had the Villanova boys. They played D, they hustled, they passed. I don't know, the self-proclaimed greatest shooting big man of all time. I got to see it to believe it. I don't think this is going to work at all. On the flip side, though, my most underrated team? Maybe I'll catch some heat for this take, but it's the Cavs. Hey, I love this team this year. Coach Atkinson and Coach Bryant have rehauled the whole vibe in the locker room. It doesn't hurt that Donovan's not making side eyes with New York anymore. This team looks like they're going to be in the high 50s to me. I'm looking at them top three in the East, baby. That's the hot takes from your boy, Mr. Pop. Take them into the weekend, spread them around, sound off if you think I'm wrong. I can't wait to tell you why you are incorrect. Thanks for watching, Hoops Heads. Click below to subscribe for even more primo Papa Shot content on YouTube. Keep playing and shoot for 100.